question, why are the atheist fools over at Rational Wiki, why are they defending the Catholic Church? They have these articles, they have one here on Brian Dillinger, and you go down to the section, uh, where is the section? They have this really big section defending the Roman Catholic Church. Here it is, beating back popery and papists. They write, ever since the rabble, and of course there are areas where I disagree with Brian on, obviously, I made that clear in the past, but it's weird how atheists are defending the Catholic Church. Because uh, supposedly atheists are opposed to the Catholic Church. Uh, ever since the rabble-rousing killjoys dim disembarked from the Mayflower, there has been an undercurrent of anti-Catholic bigotry and novatism in the United States. Anti-Catholic bigotry? Uh, again, I thought atheists opposed the Catholic Church, uh, you know, for certain issues. Why are they saying oh, anti-Catholic bigotry? Hmm, interesting. They have a whole section here called anti-Catholicism. Anti-Catholicism refers to the staunch, and of course, Rational Wiki, it's basically a satire atheist website where they just attack people personally. You know, it's ridiculous. But I, they right here. Anti-Catholicism refers to the staunch opposition to the Roman Catholic Church and its members, usually grounded in conspiracy theory, novatism, with the misrepresentation or mis yeah, misrepresentation of Catholic theology, often copious amounts of uh, tank, sorry, sorry, I just woke up, uh, tangality related to wing nuttery. So they're defending the Catholic Church against anti-Catholic bigots. Interesting. They have here a thing of uh, King, the King James only notable, notable supporters of the King James only belief. Go on, not Jack Hiles. He's a wicked devil. Go on, Jack Chick. And of course, there's issues. I, you know, again, I don't agree with with. Um, you know, I, 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 when I say I support a ministry, I don't necessarily agree with everything they put out. But and or, you know, I don't agree with everything that Chick Tracks puts out. But they're right here. Uh, as a general rule, Chick Tracks reads like the ramblings of an anti-Semitic. When, when have they ever been anti-Semitic? Anti-Catholic and homophobic. You know, <laughs> got all of that. Etc. Fire and brimstone conspiracy theorists that make Pat Robertson look the, the, the mellowed out conspira mellowed out in compa cons comparison. Sorry, just woke up. So they're calling him up for being anti-Catholic. Um, again, why are atheists defending the Catholic Church? Found that really weird. I mean, it just. It's, it's just really odd. And you go you go to here, go to their article on Eric John Phelps. You got one here. Uh, Eric John Phelps, known as Brother Eric, is a pastor who, who seeks to create a white only nation called, called Pro, Pro Baptist Call. Uh, Phelps is a fast talking, i.e., pulling facts out of his. You, know, uh, you use profanity. White supremacist, flat earth conspiracy theorist, Obama birther, and Christian fundamentalist, Zionist. You know, Phelps is known for the fundamentalist Christian conspiracy theorist known as, or uh, theorist in his open Mangus office, Vatican assassins, and the Eric John Phelps show. Uh, and they go down. He uh, is known for his conspiracy theories involving the Society of Jesus, the uh, wicked Jesuit order, and, is, and uh, preaches his anti-Catholic message everywhere he wherever he goes. Uh, so anti-Catholic message again. It go back it goes back to think why are atheists why are these atheists over at this foolish website Rational Wiki defending. Roman Catholicism. I mean, Roman Catholicism. Uh, I thought atheists were opposed to Roman Catholicism. It's ridiculous. Uh, so it just goes to show how uh, atheists, and of course, the Pope is embracing. I did a video about the Pope embracing atheism. Uh, the Roman Catholic Church is, and by the way, that's just a smokescreen, by the way. Uh, once the uh, time of Jacob's trouble comes, the Catholic Church is back in power again, and there will, no be, there will be no more freedom of religion. But this thing of, of the Pope, he's embracing atheism now. Um, what does the Bible say about atheists? Let me show you. Um, and of course, this is a verse that atheists all, are all aware of. Psalms chapter 14, verse number 1. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. They are all gone aside. They are altogether become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. That's a perfect description of atheists. I mean, look at communism. Look at Nazism, you know, look, look at Marxism, look at liberalism, all the results of atheism, and Catholicism, too. Uh, Psalms chapter 53, verse 1. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they, they have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see that, that, to see if there were any that did understand and that, that, and that did seek God. Every one of them has gone back, and they are altogether become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Again, perfect description of atheists. So, again, the question that I have asked the question, why are atheists defending the pagan Roman Catholic Church? Hmm, interesting. Uh, don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.